Today we'll hear from the Baltimore Police Department and the Independent Review Board about the board's findings on the investigation into the death of Detective Sean Souter. The board believes Souter was not murdered, but that he took his own life. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight is live in the newsroom with more on this story. And Megan, there's been a lot of strong reaction to this report that was released. It really has, Ashley. So what I've seen on social media so far is that some strongly agree with the Independent Review Board and its findings, while others refuse to believe Detective Sean Souter would commit suicide. The IRB gave a very detailed outline in a 200-plus page report about why they think Souter took his own life. There are a number of reasons given. One of the main ones is Souter was scheduled to testify before a grand jury the day after he died. He was a subject of an investigation into the gun trace task force and another GTTF member had implicated him in a couple of robberies committed by the group. The RAB says Souter ignored several texts and calls from his attorney who wanted to meet with Souter that day to prepare for his testimony. The report also says that Souter had incentives to make his death not look like a suicide because he knew his family would get more money and entitlements if he was killed in the line of duty. There's also this new video released with the report that shows Souter on Bennett Place just moments before he died. Now, I know it's hard to see here, but Souter is behind that white van. Then you can see him darting into the alley where he was shot. The IRB concluded that there's really no possible way for Souter's partner to have shot him or anyone else for that matter because the gunman would have had just seconds to get Souter's gun, shoot him, and then take off without being seen. Now, this report is not binding in any way, meaning that Souter's death for now is still ruled a homicide, and we're going to be hearing what Baltimore police have to say about this report during a news conference that's scheduled for 11 o'clock this morning. Ashley?